Hello folks, good to see everybody, good to see familiar faces as well, good to see our, our gathered cast members today, um, and it's, it's lovely to be here and to celebrate victory in Europe Day. I want to do a wee plug before we go, and the plug is for an organisation that, uh, that we started in Scotland called Veterans Chaplaincy. Um, we are now providing with 17 chaplains across Scotland and this is an organization for you folks, your families, um, your loved ones and nearly all of us as veterans. Um, I'll probably hand out a few flyers around the gathered throng afterwards but this is for you, it's funded, even funded by the Scottish Government for us to provide chaplaincy to you not just to do occasions like this, but also to be alongside you in the vagaries of life and difficulties of existence in, uh, in the world today. So please do use this um, and I'll pass out some information. Today we gather to mark victory in Europe. We gather to mark the sacrifice of a generation who gave their all and many who gave their lives to secure peace and freedom in Europe. And yet we gather today for the first time since VE Day, we gather to mark a time of war in Europe. For the first time since the end of the Second World War, we are facing a conventional proper, not an insurgency or any of these other things that have happened, but a, but a proper war in Europe. And it can't go, we can't mark this occasion without also remembering what's happening to a nation in Europe and the sacrifices that are being made there to maintain the freedoms that were won in 1945. So let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew, those whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of humankind. Those who look to the Lord will win you strength. They will soar as on eagle's wings. They will run and not feel faint. March on and not grow weary. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us here today, for giving us good health to come. We thank you for the weather that is able to, that we are able to come and gather. We thank you for the freedoms that we enjoy. We thank you for the, the, the passing of, of COVID and for us being able to gather uh, in this crowd today. We ask your blessing upon us as we remember the sacrifice of a generation. And we come today knowing that others are continuing to make sacrifices in the cause of freedom and peace. And we pray that as we live in peace here and now in this place, that we would promote that peace throughout the world throughout Europe, that we would do everything we can to maintain the peace that was won so costly for us during the Second World War. So God bless us as we come. Bless us as we remember. In your name we pray. Amen. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn, at the going down of the sun and in the morning. We will remember them.
He will remember them.
It is the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us the freedom of the press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us the freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the peace camp organizer, who has given us the freedom to demonstrate. It is the soldier who serves beneath the flag, whose coffin is draped by the flag, who allows the protester to burn the flag. It is the soldier, not the politician, who has given his blood, his body, his life. The soldier who has given us these freedoms. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we remember all who have served in the cause of freedom, we also remember those who continue to serve today. We remember our soldiers, our sailors, our airmen and women, as they continue to stand the line and maintain the security of this nation and its freedom to live as we choose. We pray for those who have served, who have suffered because of that service, those who have been disabled, disabled or have had mental distress. We pray for those who have lost hope and faith because of war. We pray for those whose homes have been destroyed, whose livelihoods have been taken. And we think especially this day of the events in Ukraine, in the midst of Europe, a Europe that was torn apart by war in a generation previous, now is being torn apart again. We pray for common sense in leadership. We pray for wisdom in those who will work the diplomacy. And we pray for an end to the fighting in Ukraine, that Europe once more may live in peace. Lord God, we pray for those who lead us, our government, our queen, and the royal family. We ask your blessing upon all that they stand for and all that we stand for as a nation together. We pray for those in government, those who are in Whitehall, those who govern us here in Scotland. We pray for their safety and their security as they govern us. And we pray that their leadership would be leadership of wisdom as they too play their part in providing and maintaining peace. These things we pray, dedicating ourselves to serve to the memory of a generation who sacrificed so much that we might live in freedom and peace. In your name we pray. Amen. Uh, thank you, Padre, again for an excellent service. Can I also say many thanks to Terry McCourt, who's hiding be beneath that scrimmage over there, I think. Uh, and thank him for all of the work he does to keep this uh, excellent garden and uh, memorial uh, alive and in good nick. And he keeps getting the whole thing refurbished and added to to his great uh, to his great uh, uh, service to the veteran community. So Terry, thank you very much for all you do for the veteran community. Um, it's now my pleasure to invite the provincial grand master, Mr. Andrew Mutter, to come forward and to unveil, if you can see where it is, and I've done this one more, this, uh, this pathway. You've got to go there. Um, and of course, the provincial grand lodge of Glasgow, I think I've got that right, uh, actually provided the funding for this. So we've got to go to this end. Thank you. <coughs>